Hey, 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 what's going on, guys and gals? Got a question up in the community about the X Live card. If we come over here and look at the recorder, as you can see here, we have several tap points that we can use. But when we come over to the SD cards, then we have no setting for this. However, and, you know, this is by default. You cannot. It is simply input, preamp, card out. But if we do a little creative routing using the P16 routing, then here we have this option. Now, I'm going to select channel 1 here. And we can select any channel that we want. But... If we right mouse click it, as you can see, now we have those same tap points that we had for the USB recorder. So I'm going to simply put this on pre EQ, and that's what it says right down here at our little legend. And I'm going to record the direct out FX. And I'm just going to record one channel. Remember, on our sends and returns, it goes in mono and comes back out stereo. Now, this works as well if you want to do this with your doll. So here we are, direct out FX to L. So what does that 2L mean? Well, if we come up here and look at our FX1 through 4, there's our FX2. It's on bus 14 for the sins, which is down here, okay, as well as up here on the sins, uh, FX2. So I've got an SM57 hooked up to channel 9. And we're going to play around with this. I'm just going to bring this up to Unity. Because we're going to record this to channel 1. And we will be able to adjust the amount of FX we want in this recording using channel 1. Okay, using the channel 1 fader. Now remember, we're using channel 1 because up here on our alternate, our P16, this is channel 1. Now if we wanted to, say, do a mix bus, I could come over here and put 7 or 8 drums on mix bus 1 and then record all the drums and then come to channel 2 and put that over here on the reverb okay but just bear in mind that when you do that you cannot separate those drums okay so whatever you record you cannot go in there and individually adjust each track you're going to have that that just that one input and if you're doing this for mixing and mastering purposes that's not the way you want to do it okay so here we're just going to show the tap point and be able to record some FX. So now we're going to come to our card. And as you can see, I've got this set on user out. Okay, everything else is set up. Remember our inputs and outputs always want to be identical. Okay, so I'm using two S16s here off my AES 50A port. So if I come to the card. I'm going to come to user out, one through eight, and then I come up to user out, alternate, right there. You see that's output number one is direct out to X left, PEQ. That is the tap point. So that's why I'm saying if I change this now, if I go back to the alternate and I change this to post fader, if we come back, We'll see now, it's now changed to post fader. Okay, but we're just going to go re EQ. So once I've got that channel here, blocks of eight now, remember, 
Okay, this is our user in, user out routing or patching or one-to-one -one patching, whatever you want to call it. So I want the rest of these inputs to come through the card just like they normally would. So I just start here at the bottom and I just start, uh, let's see, these would normally be like this. For those of you that are just starting out. But for me, it's easier just to start at the bottom and come up diagonally. And I'm putting these inputs right back in line. So out of this entire block of eight, I'm using one for the alternate. And then I'm using the rest of the seven inputs, or excuse me, outputs to line up with my input routing. Okay, don't let that get you confused. The rest of these, just like the card shows, it's going to record all of these inputs just like they are. Because I've come to user out and use the user out one-to-one -one patching, uh, outputs two through eight are going to be down here on the mixer, two through eight. Okay? So now if we come to the recorder and come over here, and I'm simply going to hit record. Now, as we talk about this and I record it, I'm going to play this back. You're going to hear it dry in this particular part of the recording. And then when we go back and play this, you're going to actually hear it with the reverb in there. And I'm going a little bit long here because I want to show you how you can adjust it with channel number one. Because that's where we're recording this signal to. Okay? So let's go ahead and hit stop. And I'm going to be silent now. And I'm going to play back this recording. And I'm going to adjust channel number one now to adjust the amount of fx on that hall reverb that we want to go back through this channel for this recording okay now as we talk about this recorded i'm going to play this back when you hear dry in this particular part of the recording and then when we go back and play this you're going to actually hear it with the reverb in there and I'm going to move it all here because I'm going to show you how you can adjust it with channel number one. Because that's where we're recording this signal to. Okay? So let's go ahead and hit stop. Okay. So as you can see, it's just that easy to do. Okay? And remember, the tap point on that card was set through the P16, the alternate, right here. All right. I hope this has helped. Take care. God bless. And we are out of here.